everyone and welcome to our daily devotions for today, Friday the 22nd of October. We begin as always with our opening prayer. Let's pray together. Gracious God, there are many people that we encounter in our lives who are ready to sneer at faith, imagining that we consider ourselves to be special, in some way holier or better than others. But we know the reality is so very different. Your love for us is not something we deserve, but solely down to your grace. 
we recognise our faults, we acknowledge our sinfulness, and we realise full well that we will never be anywhere near perfect. Save us then, we pray, for ever appearing self-righteous or judgmental towards others. Teach us, rather, to live as those who recognise your love and acceptance of all people. And may such openness characterise our own attitudes in all our dealings, to the glory of your name. Amen. Mark, chapter 3 Jesus withdrew with his disciples to the lake, and a large crowd from Galilee followed. When they heard all he was doing, many people came to him from Judea, Jerusalem, Idumea, and the regions across the Jordan and around Tyre and Sidon. Because of the crowd, he told his disciples to have a small boat ready for him to keep the people from crowding him. For he had healed many, so that those with diseases were pushing forward to touch him. Whenever the impure spirits saw him, they fell down before him and cried out, You are the Son of God! But he gave them strict orders not to tell others about him.
Psalm 21 The King rejoices in your strength, Lord. How great is his joy in the victories you give! You have granted him his heart's desire and have not withheld the request of his lips. You came to greet him with rich blessings and placed a crown of pure gold on his head. He asked you for life, and you gave it to him, length of days, forever and ever. Through the victories you gave, his glory is great. You have bestowed on him splendor and majesty. Surely you have granted him unending blessings and made him glad with the joy of your presence. For the King trusts in the Lord. Through the unfailing love of the Most High, he will not be shaken. We come now to our closing prayer for today. Let's pray together. Loving God, we do not know why we go astray, for we want so much to stay true. We yearn to offer you faithfulness and committed service, but somehow we always fall short. And we fear sometimes that one day even your love will be exhausted. Our disobedience pushing your patience just too far. Remind us at such times of your infinite grace that goes on reaching out to us, come what may. Remind us that you are a God always ready to forgive and to forget, longing to lift us up and carry us safely home on your shoulders. For we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. I will not boast in anything. No gifts, no power, no wisdom. But I will boast in Jesus Christ. His death and resurrection. Bye.